Facebook algorithm, how does it work in terms of, let's say you liked my posts more often, does that mean I will see your posts more often as well? <clears throat> if you like my stuff, you comment on my stuff, does the Facebook alg algorithm somehow say, well, that means we're going to show George your stuff too? No, it doesn't work like that. Because, because imagine if it did work like that, then everyone could just manipulate the algorithm and just going to the people they want to be seen by and goes like, 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 comment, 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 comment. Now, you might say there is an indirect effect, which is if you like my stuff and comment on my stuff often, liking my stuff, the, the, the bigger someone's the bigger someone's engagement is. So like right now, I'm grateful that when I make a post, I get enough likes where I don't even notice who exactly are the ones liking anymore, but I certainly notice the comments, right? I'm still not big enough where I, I don't notice the comments. I do notice the comments. And if, if someone's comment to me is thoughtful or interesting, it adds something to the conversation, then I might click on that person's profile to go and see who they are, or if, if even if I <clears throat> if I already know them, I might go click on and see what they're up to lately, right? <clears throat> and the action of me landing on your profile, <clears throat> excuse me here. Sorry, I had to clear my throat. The action of me landing on your profile makes does affect the algorithm because Facebook says, "Hey, there's a for whatever reason George visited so and so's profile, so we're going to uh, show we're going to." Basically, it's like bumping up your profile a few points or bumping up your post a few points in the algorithm so that when I'm surfing Facebook, I'm a little bit more likely to see your stuff. Now, it's even more likely if I actually interact with a post on your profile, then obviously it makes sense. So um, the algorithm is always trying to figure out, the algorithm, just to be clear, is always, it's very clever. I mean, the algorithm, I mean, I know people hate on social media. Oh, it's so evil, blah, blah, blah. But you have to, on the flip side, you have to marvel at the ingenuity of the algorithm because what the algorithm does, it actually studies the relationships between two entities. Between, yeah, it's not, there's no general, I mean, there's no algorithm for everybody. It's an algorithm between George and Stephanie, between Eric and Gregory, between Donna and Grace, there's an algorithm for every single relationship you have on Facebook. And so the more you interact with somebody in any way, including private messaging, now you might say, well, George, so can I just keep private messaging you and then you'll see my posts? No, because if I don't respond to you, <laughs> right? But if, I, if I'm responding to your private messages, then it, it, it bumps up the points more because Facebook goes, hmm, okay, there's a, there's a private conversation going on. So George might be interested in this person's posts as well. So the algorithm is always trying to figure out what's going to make, if I'm surfing Facebook, the algorithm is trying to figure out what's going to make George um, happy that he came to Facebook today to say, what's going to make George want to keep coming back because Facebook is showing stuff that George wants. Well, how does Facebook know what I want except from my interactions. So that's how that works. And I hope this is helpful. If you have any other tips for the Facebook algorithm, you can go ahead and comment below.